Hello guys and welcome to a new video and as you all know we're in the dying moments of season 7 and we're about to get what's probably the biggest battle royale update ever. It's gonna be like playing a completely different game and I'm so excited for it. So until then I decided to post one final gameplay. I played these games at night so the enemies here were pretty good and the games were sweaty and full of action. And since it's Alcatraz I'm gonna show you guys two back to back games highlighting the best moments in these games. But before that we're gonna take a quick look at my stats since many of you guys request it so here you go one thing that i'm really happy about is my average accuracy because i made a huge progress on that increasing it from 25 percent to almost 34 percent which is great considering that i don't use shotguns or snipers i'm mostly spraying with automatic guns i really hope you guys enjoy the gameplay i had a lot of hard games yesterday so i had to be in try hard mode with full awareness and fast reactions at all times and since it's alcatraz there won't be many tips i'll just let you enjoy the pure aggressive gameplay let's get started I used to be the only one landing at this spot but now everyone is landing here so if you land even a split second late then it's better to just avoid it and loot somewhere else in the building. Engaging the enemy! Enemy down! First aid kit now. I know it's a normal visual glitch when you think that you successfully dodged a bullet, it hits you out of nowhere. It's mostly caused by lag or dissing, but it really sucks, especially against shotgun users. First aid kit now. Honestly at this point I was happy to die, I had no meds, no SMG ammo, a broken vest and the airdrop was landing. So even though dying usually sounds bad, it's actually a smart idea here. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't planning on deliberately dying, I wanted to continue firing but I got backstabbed. And sadly when I got back the airdrop was already loaded by an enemy, I think my teammates could have secured it for me or at least one of them should have loaded it but I guess they were busy firing because everyone was dropping in that area because everyone wanted revenge. 
enemies. Enemies. Further collapse expected. Travel to your jump is coming. I'm sure you guys noticed that I picked a QQ9 instead of the MX9 from the airdrop and I'm sure many of you will ask why I did that even though I said the MX9 is the best SMG. I do that sometimes for a change. As a hipfire player I really love SMGs and I like to switch between them sometimes. The MX9 remains the best SMG and it has more damage than the QQ9 but the QQ9 has better mobility which can be useful on this map against shotgun users because most fights here are in close range and many players use shotguns. So higher mobility allows you to move faster and it gives you a better chance of surviving not only against shotguns but also against other SMG users Moving on to the second game, unlike the first one, I had a bad start here. It was a nice movement and dodging by the enemy and he managed to get an MX-9 and just melted the shit out of me. Using adrenaline shot now. Yes. Using first aid kit now. Jump is coming. First aid kit now. Drop is coming.
In this fight, you notice that I suddenly switched aim from this enemy to this one. That's because I realized that my teammate was near and he had eyes on this enemy. Plus the fact that he can't shoot at the enemy on top because he can't see him and he doesn't have a good angle on him. So I let him kill this enemy while I took care of the other one. I really hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and I hope you're excited for the new season as much as I am. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.